Hello, my name is Steve Gribben and I bring you greetings from the leafy South East London suburb of Lewisham. Hi, nice to see you all. Um, I'm in quite a good mood, I've just been out for my government approved designated one hour walk of the streets. Uh, not actually in the street or on the pavement, you understand, uh, mainly in the middle of the road due to very young people thinking this is not going to affect me and people with buggies and blissfully loved up couples walking abreast, two by two, hand in hand, on the sidewalk so no one else can get past because as we all know the coronavirus is utterly defeated by love uh, and bleach. Of course we've always had social distancing in this country, uh, we just call it the class system. Now there are all sorts of side effects to the current situation we find ourselves in, um, such as the feeling that the time is passing really, really slowly. It's as if the whole country is on detention, writing out a thousand times, we must not leave our house unless it is for essential purchases such as beer, barbecue crisps and gloss paint. Now one of the biggest phenomena of the recent months is the weirdness of people's dreams. Usually uh, when someone at work sidles up to you and said, oh, do you know, last night you had the strangest dream. Do you just know that that's normally a prelude to one of the most boring stories you've ever been told in the history of things you never needed to know? But lockdown dreams are different. They are downright bonkers. It's almost as if all our dreams are being directed by a weird triumvirate of Tim Burton, Lars von Trier and Tex Avery. All the elements of reality and anxiety and stress are woven into our dreams, reflecting the new circumstances we find ourselves in. There's no need, for instance, to dream about being naked. I want to be perfectly honest, most of us are naked from the waist down on conference calls. So this song I'm about to sing to you now is uh, called um, Nightmare on Crowded Streets and it's in the tradition of dream songs, uh, lots of dream songs of course, uh, You've Been Talking in Your Sleep, uh, Daydream Believer and the one about the current British lockdown, Don't Dream It's Over. So I present to you Nightmare on Crowded Street. <laughs> Jesus was in my yoga class doing handstands. I was Pontius Pilate, made sure I was still washing my hands. I was being wrestled in hand sanitizer by Nicola Sturgeon. I had that flying dream, but not on Virgin. I was eating a kebab. With the face of Dominic Rab, he tasted challenging. And I was dancing with Amberlynn, who was eating raw pangolin. And on Zoom, we started to sing. But there was an issue with the time, time, it time, with the time, with the time. Uh, is it your turn? Uh, well, just unmute yourself, unmute. Um. I'm having lockdown dreams. Full of Hitler memes and an orgy with two meters spacing. And Sigmund Freud declared the premiership void. So I punched his repressed face in. Next night I was being ridden by a demon from hell with the body of Joe Wicks and the face of Pretty Patel. I screamed for help, but no one came at all. A voice boomed, we are currently experiencing an unusually high volume of calls. I dreamt I was on Skype with a young and archetype, junior minister with a load of old flannel. And as a final coda, I heard the voice of Baby Yoda saying the rest of this dream is only available on the Disney Channel. I'm having lockdown dreams, full of reams and reams of middle-aged bitter men in a shed. Doctors and nurses say, would we like for pay? 
they say no thanks a round of applause every Thursday night we'll do instead and I'm in love